Hello, I'm Sam from Sound on Sound magazine. I'm at Superbooth in Berlin. I'm with Jean-Michel from Electron. Hello. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And this is a rare opportunity that we actually get to interview one of the product designers, because normally you're hiding somewhere and there, there are other people <laughs> taking care of Yes, behind the curtains things. or something. So yes. I really appreciate you coming out from behind the curtain to talk about yeah, the new problem. product you're showing here, which is the Analog Heat FX. Yes. So Analog Heat, we kind of know about. What's what's new with the effects? So, uh, yeah, essentially it's the same analog heat as we had before, but we added now digital effects on top of it. So uh, it can run out uh, all the effects at once. So it's not like something, for instance, uh, we have like, I don't know, eight effects, eight new effects, but they can all run at once uh, alongside the heat. You know? So uh, you have bit crushing, sample rate reduction, reverb, delay, chorus, compression, tape effects, and also some utility to fix uh, bass, like uh, if you have phasing issues, for example, or, uh, yeah. And can these be assigned to separate audio channels or paths, or are they all on the same path? No, think of it more like, uh, you know, a guitar uh, pedal setup where they are all in series. Mm -hmm. So uh, you decide which one are active or inactive. You can decide the order of, of those, but it's no uh, parallel processing. No, it's, it's like you use your one input and then you process it to the chain. And what sort of control do you have over these effects? Uh, you have, uh, I mean, you have tons of control, like the usual, I, I mean, for the reverb, for instance, you have uh, eight parameters that you can set, like uh, pre-delay, uh, the decay time, the, uh, what do you call it, like the filter of, of the feedback system in the reverb and the filter for the input into the reverb, for instance. So they're fully controllable yeah, digital absolutely. effects. And you can do that all from the front panel of the unit? Uh, not from the front panel necessarily. I mean, you need to choose the effects you, to go to the page and then you have some knobs to control it. But uh, not all functions are available from the knobs uh, that are on the front panel. You need to basically go to the effects page to actually tweak oh, okay, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But everything is controllable via MIDI. So we have uh, CC numbers for uh, every parameters. Uh, yeah. So if you were using it live, you could have a MIDI foot pedal board or something. And yeah, then... Absolutely, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And so is this is the existing analog heat now a discontinued then? Or? Uh, I mean, we still have a few units in stock, but I think from now on, we, it's going to be the new model that's going to be available. Uh, yeah. Is this now available? Yes. To buy now, and how yes. much does it cost? Uh, it's uh, MSRP is uh, nine ninety nine dollars or nine ninety nine euros, and uh, yeah, it's about fifty dollars more than the Mark II was. But I think we added like so much new fun stuff into it that it's a pretty good uh, upgrade. Yeah, uh, looking forward to hearing it in action. Right, right. thank you, Jean Michel. Great to meet you. And I can tell you what I'm doing. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Um, you want an introduction or just go? Go for it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, um, so let's look at uh, a pattern and how it sounds without the heat. Um, so now, um, as you can see in the flow page, all of the different effects are off. If we turn off the classic heat mode, we get some brutal distortion, analog distortion from all of the different uh, circuits that we have. It's eight different different characters. Um, in the signal flow, uh, you can actually move them around. So if we take the heat, uh, the analog circuits, you can drop it whenever you want in the chain as you perform. Uh, so. If we do the heat first and then add bitrate after, we get this pretty messy. Now we can just experiment really quickly by moving the bits in front of the analog distortions instead. Uh, super, super fast modular way of experimenting with the sounds. Let's turn off the bits and add some other tracks. We have delay. 
on and off. Accessing the effects page by pressing yes. And here you can experiment with the feedback, time, everything that you want. Go back, turn off the delay. Let's add some reverb. We can move the reverb around. And uh, this is what you can do with all the different effects. Chorus, bits, heat, compression, delay, reverb, warble. And one of the favorite uh, things is, of course, the bass focus, which is um, effect, what you call it, uh, where you can choose what frequency what you want to do the crossover uh, sort of filtering with so you can uh, choose to uh, turn everything below let's say 400 hertz into mono which makes it much more stable and the rest will be in stereo so now everything is a mono Now everything below 142 hertz is in mono.